successful customer agent interactions are those that are smooth and trouble free. But as you know, we're in a complicated business where things can and do go wrong. Your ability to deal with your customers where you're in control not only will make your job easier, but will make friends for Pan Am and ensure repeat business. By using your passenger service skills, you'll be able to deal with any situation. Let's watch as this agent uses his skills in this transaction. Hi, I'm on flight 66, I believe. Let me just check that. Miss Black, Miami, New York, traveling cabin class. Right. Okay. Let me just get you a seat. Would you like uh, non-smoking or smoking? Non-smoking. And can I have a window seat? Window seat. I believe I can do that. Will you be checking any baggage today? No. No baggage. Okay. Confirmed on flight number 66, no smoking window seat. We'll be leaving from Concourse F, gate 11. Departure time is 4.30. Boarding time about 4 o'clock. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day bye now. Bye-bye. As you can see, using these skills will help make your customer dealings pleasant. Remember, focus on the passenger, provide efficient service, and enhance the passenger's self-esteem. But we know not all your customer dealings are as trouble-free as our example. When things get complicated, there's a fourth skill you can call on, listening. Pan Am paging passenger Roberts, passenger Roberts to position 28. Listening is more than just hearing. That doesn't make you a skilled listener. Let's review the techniques that make listening a skill. just reviewed, paraphrasing is used as a check for understanding or to clarify complex information. Simply put, paraphrasing filters out the unnecessary information and focuses on the pertinent information. Basically, it's designed to help you understand what your passenger is saying. Oh, I am so excited. I'm on my way to New York to see my granddaughter for the very first time. I just couldn't be happier. Now, when I spoke to the man, he said I could have a salt-free meal, high blood pressure, you know how that is. Not only that, but a special seat. He said I'd be comfortable all the way. Yes, ma'am. I see that you're on flight 114. You have a salt-free meal and a pre-assigned seat. Well, I'm not stuck in the middle seat, am I? It's too small for me. I can't stand that. So you would prefer an aisle seat, sir? You bet. To review, active listening is a communication technique that's not meant to be used in all situations. Its primary function is to recognize the unspoken emotions that a passenger may be feeling. Okay, why, you ask, should we use active listening? Because it shows understanding and it builds rapport. Hi, how are you Hi. today? Great. It's really happening. I can't believe we're going. St. Martin, here we come. Calm down, honey. You'll burn out before we get there. No, I'm really excited about this trip. It's, it's our, our honeymoon. honeymoon. Congratulations. Thank you. My dear son. Here are your boarding passes, Mr. and Mrs. Sanders. The gate is F3, and your bag tags are inside. Check to St. Martin. Thank Have you. Have a good trip. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. In a situation like the one we just saw, it's easy to use active listening. But active listening is also used as a diffuser of unpleasant emotions. Each of you has faced a passenger who has a lot of built up emotions. By recognizing this emotion and using active listening, you allow that person to get rid of that emotion so that you can get on to solving their problems. Could you tell me please where flight 115 comes in? Only my nephew's on that flight. He's never traveled before and he's on his own and I'm, I'm very worried that I'm going to miss him. You're worried he'll be lost? Yes. Okay, 115. That'll be at Concourse F, gate number four. We'll be in in about 20 minutes. You have a lot of time. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. Got my ticket right here uh, somewhere. Here, here we will. Let's see. 
Mr. Harris, you're traveling with us today to San Francisco on Flight 5, and then on to Hawaii on Flight 125 in Clipper class. You got it. You checking any baggage today, sir? Um, just the one piece. Would you like smoking or no smoking, sir? No smoking. Mr. Harris, I show a reservation from New York to San Francisco, but I don't show a reservation continuing on to Flight 125. When did you make these reservations? I didn't. My travel agent did. But she's great. She never makes a mistake. Now, look, you can see right on my ticket, it says uh, Honolulu. I'm checking right now to see if I can get you on the flight, sir. To see if you can get me on? I have to be on that flight. You know, I've got a, an important convention to attend. I have to set up my booth. My staff is waiting for me to brief them. I mean, this is crazy. It's really annoying to have this happen to you. You're damn right it's annoying. But I thought this was all set up. Mr. Harris, I'm showing flight 125 is being sold out. What? It can't be. Now, what am I going to do? Well, sir, what I have done is to book you on standby for flight 125. And just in case, I've booked you on a flight in the morning out of San Francisco. Standby? Standby? Look, can't you do any better? I'll never get there with standby. You're really anxious about getting on the flight, sir. Of course I'm anxious. I have to set up my booth. Sir, there's a good chance you will get on that flight. And if not, the morning flight will get you there by 11 a.m. Yeah, well, I better be on that flight, or you will hear from me. That's uh, flight number five, sir. Boarding gate F9, next right turn. Sorry, sir. Uh, excuse me, are you Pan Am? Yes, sir. May I help you? I sure hope so. Look, I, I can't believe this is happening. I have come from Brussels through London and New York only to arrive here in St. Louis four hours late and only to discover that I don't have any baggage. I, I selected your airline because of the through check-in service. I have been seriously delayed and inconvenienced. You're really disappointed in our service, sir. <laughs> of course I am. How can you advertise the benefits of this, this, this feeder system and fail so miserably? It is frustrating to be promised one thing and get another. Look, I, I, I need my luggage. I, I have a meeting tomorrow, and I was hoping to prepare for it tonight. I've been in these clothes for 24 hours, and I... I just can't think straight anymore. You're tired. What you need to do is get to your hotel as soon as possible. In the meantime, I'll start a tracer on your bed. Oh. What exactly are you going to do? Let's make out a report, and we'll get a tracer started. Oh, oh, okay. There are times when a passenger is so angry or upset that no matter what is being said, they cannot or will not hear you. In situations like these, all you can do is simply acknowledge the passenger and listen. Remember, the passenger is not mad at you. Don't take the anger personally. Hello, sir. Hello. I should like a window seat. No smoking, please. Mr. Harcourt, I see you already have a seat assignment. Your seat is 8A. Have a pleasant flight. Thank you, I shall. And Mr. Harcourt, is that your carry-on baggage? Yes. I purchased this at an antique auction. It's quite fragile. Well, Mr. Harcourt, I can tell by looking at it that it's much too large to carry on. Miss, I think that there's no possibility of my checking this through. I have... I will carry it on board. It's quite valuable. Yes, indeed. Well, I'm afraid safety regulations strictly prohibit us from allowing any carry-on which cannot be secured under the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartment. Oh, come now. There must be a place where I can put these. Well, normally I try to find a place for something like this in the closets on board, but I see that there's no way that something that large is going to fit even in there. There is no way I'm going to allow you to put it in the baggage section and destroy it. This piece is obviously very important to you. Of course it is. I've spent a great deal of money and time acquiring this, and I insist that I take it on board. You're worried that it won't be safe in the baggage compartment. Of course. I'm sure it'll be damaged. Well, Mr. Harcourt, I can suggest the following. 
I can mark your box with these fragile stickers and we'll have someone personally carry it down to the plane and place it in a baggage container. You need just to sign this release form due to the fragile nature of this item. Well, there you are. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You really are worried this is going to get damaged. Of course I am. The safest way an item like this can be handled is by having it properly packed and shipped air cargo. Oh. Where's that counter? Unfortunately, our air cargo facility is on the other side of the airport. But we have these two choices. One, I can have it taken downstairs as we discussed. Or if you choose, you can ship it air cargo and I'll arrange a seat for you on the next flight. Next flight. I'm afraid so, sir. There's no way you can go out to air cargo and get back in 45 minutes. I must travel today. I can't get there tomorrow. That's out of the question. This is terrible. Mr. Harcourt, let me get my lead agent to take you on board and show you the available space. He's checking it. I think you made the right decision, Mr. Harcourt. And to avoid this in the future, be sure to make arrangements to ship larger items by air cargo. Please sign here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're all set, sir. You can go right on board. Have a pleasant flight. I shall try. For at least two hours, do you know if our connecting flights will hold? Okay. Oh, for at least two hours? Do you know if our connecting flights will hold? Okay. The Manila and Shanghai-Beijing flights will hold and we'll rebook the Seoul flight. I see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, keep us posted. We have a hydraulic leak. They figure about two hours. We'll have to rebook the Seoul people. That flight won't hold. Okay, I'll take care of that. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Pan American Flight 801 has been delayed due to a hydraulic leak. A new departure time will be announced in two hours. For those passengers connecting to Pan American Flight 11, destined to Manila, and Pan American Flight 15 to Shanghai and Beijing, we have been advised that, that those flights will hold for your arrival. Those passengers on Flight 805 to Seoul will be reaccommodated on the next available flight from Tokyo. On behalf of Pan American, we do apologize for this delay. <coughs> yes, what? Fox has decided to change gauge. We're going from an SP to a 100, which will require a fueling stop. It's going to take about an hour to switch the planes. Now, I've got a list of the misconnects and the seat changes. Lois, why don't you make the announcement? Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We regret to inform you that Flight 801 will be further delayed. In order to expedite your departure, a decision has been made to change equipment. Unfortunately, the type of equipment we are receiving is not able to fly nonstop to Tokyo. This will require a refueling stop in Anchorage. Our estimated time of departure is 3 p.m. with an estimated arrival in Tokyo of 8 p.m. Passengers who are connecting to Pan Am and to other carriers have been reaccommodated on the first available flight. We will be calling you by name to advise you of your new accommodations and of your other concerns. Ladies and gentlemen, please have a seat. We will be advising each and every one of you. attention, please. As we have announced, we are aware of your misconnections and other concerns. We will take care of everyone, but we can only do this one at a time, by calling you by name to give you specific information. However, we must ask you to remain seated. Please, everyone, take a seat. Thank you for your cooperation. And will Mr. Webster and Mr. Delgado please come to the podium. I'm, I'm Mr. Webster, Mr. Webster, and uh, here's my ticket. Okay, thank you. This is, this is really something. Mr. Webster, I'm very sorry for the inconvenience we're causing you. Since we've had a change of aircraft, the number of clipper seats have been reduced. The seat you were previously assigned no longer exists on this airplane. I reseated you and Mrs. Webster in no smoking seats in cabin class and gave you an extra seat in the row. We're offering you Clipper Club package, which contains complimentary coupons that you use in flight. 
and we'll be refunding the fare difference to you. What are you talking about now? I have Clipper class reservations and I've had them for months. I'm sorry, I, I'm not changing. Sir, I wish I could accommodate you. The new aircraft has 48 fewer seats and we simply must seat you in cabin class. Then change someone else. Now, I was one of the first ones to check in. I planned for this trip. It, well, it's not fair. It's disappointing to have this happen, Mr. Rex. You're damn right it is. First the delay, then an added stop, and now this, this extra time in a smaller seat. Now, I had this all set up. A, a special meal, a window seat, everything. Mr. Webster, I have reassigned you to a window and aisle seat, no smoking, and I'll make sure your special meal finds you. We are offering you our Clipper coverage so you'll have complimentary coupons for your in-flight entertainment and drinks. In addition, there's a transportation voucher for you and anyone you select for transportation on Pan American, and we'll be receiving a refund for the fare difference. Well, I certainly hope so. This stinks! Hey, I've got a special seat, and I went through a lot of trouble to get it. You have a pre-assigned seat, ma'am? May I have your ticket and boarding pass? Sure, here they are. Miss Hensley, I'm reassigning you a new seat. It's a comparable seat. It's still the first row, no smoking, cabin class. Now that's seat 23A. Are you sure? I don't want to change. All this delay, confusion, getting there late. It's upsetting to have all these changes. It sure is. Well, thanks for your help. Mr. O'Neill, Mr. O'Neill, please come to the desk. Mr. O'Neill, we show that you were connected. Hold, hold it. What do you mean we're connecting? I have to be on this flight. I have people halfway around the world waiting for me. We're concerned about your associates being inconvenienced. Of course, we have very definite plans. Well, Mr. O'Neill, we will be able to contact your party for you. What? No. In fact, we'll be able to send a wire right now. Your new connection is as follows. You'll be arriving in Tokyo at 8 p.m. and you'll be put in a hotel. 8 p.m.? This has only been a three-hour delay. Mr. O'Neill, you must not have heard our announcement that due to a new type of aircraft, this we'll be stopping problem. in Anchorage for refueling, which will, of course, increase the flight time. This is unreal. We went from a non-stop to a one-stop, plus the delay. I'll, I'll never get there. Oh, You're God. really upset about this delay. You bet. I'm furious. This is totally unacceptable. Again, Mr. O'Neill, let me apologize for the inconvenience. What I've done for you is to arrange four accommodations at the Tokyo Airport Hotel. You have a flight departing the following morning at 9 a.m. nonstop to Beijing, arriving at 11 a.m. We'll send a wire to Beijing to contact your associates and inform them of your new arrival time. And Pan Am pays for the overnight? Yes, sir. A passenger service representative will meet you on your arrival in Tokyo and direct you to the proper hotel. Here are your tickets and boarding pass for the flight, and again, I apologize for the inconvenience to you. But, well, I realize it's not your fault, but I appreciate what you've done.